<laughs> Sometimes I put the wrong one on, David. Anyway, yeah. ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the East Side Dave Show. Yeah. And without further yeah. ado, welcome nine host, the fabulous Mr. Eastside Side David McDonald. Dave. Hey. Holy! A chant! A chant! A chant! That's enough! Now, thank you so much. Wonderful introduction, wonderful studio audience. A round of applause for you. It's the East Side Dave Show. Um, I will say that I, for a fleeting moment, yes, David. was going to have to cancel tonight. No. Snow, no. rain, dicklint, all of the major weather issues. Uh, I, oh my God, but you know what? Who's a fucking professional? Who's a goddamn you hero? Are David. Right? Yeah. Not Bobo, me. Hey, not not hey, me. Hey, me. Hey. You pointed at Bobo, Jimmy. Jimmy, <laughs> you have a two minus, minus two point warning oh. right away. Minus two points. Oh, Welcome to the I woman's vote. I stepped in 8,000. It was like, remember Groundhog Day where Bill Murray steps off the fucking thing? And yeah. like, oh, it's a doozy. Of course, Dave. That was every step of my 15 block walk here in New York City. My feet are freezing, John. Johnny Biz in the booth, by the way. Yeah. 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 Fill yeah. in for Drew. Johnny boy. How you guys doing tonight? Ready to have some Johnny. fun? Johnny. Yes, Everyone's yes, doing yes, great. Yes. Everyone's doing great, Johnny. What a studio audience. Big A's here. Flutzy, that whole, I'm going to show time, up. Baby. I'm going to show up. You are not on time. time. Who can, Who did a self-imposed 6.30 arrival period? That was you. I you was. said from now on, in 2019, I'm going to arrive at 6.30 every show. What time did she get here, Big A? 6.50. 6.50. But that's 10 20 minutes, minutes early. after. Here, here's the thing. It's here's not thing. 10 minutes early in show you. business, you fucking goddamn Let bitch. Let me tell you. Listen. You're the bitch. Listen. Shut up. Listen. First Listen. Off, Listen. You think when they're Listen. fucking shooting. Hey. Shut up. You think when they're shooting Saving Private Ryan, fucking the, 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 the when Spielberg is gonna do action, Tom Hanks arrives 10 minutes early. Don't you think there's fucking things to go over? For fuck's sake, man. Well, listen. Minus two points. I said 6.30 and now I'm on time. So You're not on time. No, I'm gonna 630 say. 6.30 is the time that you gave yourself. Yes. You showed up at 6.50. Because it's That's a 20 psychological game. You know what I mean? I don't, you're, you don't, you're bothering you don't me. You're, 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 you're bothering me. You're, 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 you're bothering me. You're bothering me. Your excuses are bullshit. I'm on time, baby. Uh, Jim, this is a, a, a mistake, but I'm going to you on the microphone. <laughs> Go ahead, Jim. Dave, I love you, man, and I miss you, man. It was a mistake. Give the microphone back. <laughs> Give it back. Give it back. Get it out. Get it out of your hands. All right, Roy. I'm would here, you David. like... A gratuitous talk show monologue to begin the program Let's so we can just get the clear love our fucking back. Heads. Let's get the love back, right? Let's get the yes, love back. Yes, 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 yes. I'm with you, Would David. You like that? Let's do it. Rob Lowe tweeted an Indian joke about presidential candidate Elizabeth Warren. He said, quote, Elizabeth Warren would bring a whole new meaning to commander in chief. Oh! <laughs> That's what he said. That's not the part that we let. That was the oh actual God. joke, Johnny boy. I know you haven't been with us for quite some time. What uh, he said was the autocorrect screwed him up. He actually meant to call her President Fireball and that future White House souvenirs would be smallpox infested blankets. Oh, yeah. so, that's way worse. So, so really, Commander in Chief ain't so bad when you look at the autocorrection. Is my point. All right, okay. Richard Gere is a brand new father at Come the on. age of 69. Oh, and, uh, damn. 69. He'd be, he be hitting it. I know what that means, David. 69, Roy. You ever do that before, huh? <laughs> Suck and fuck, baby. Licky, licky, Roy Harlow. You know, you ever do that? Roy, you ever do that, huh? Huh, oh, baby? Anyway, congrats to Gear on the birth of his bouncing baby gerbil. Jennifer Aniston had a 50th birthday party over the weekend. Did she? And Brad Pitt showed up! No way. Mm -hmm. Source says they hugged for a bit. They seemed very close. In my mind, at least, they probably had a 69. <laughs> <laughs> 69. 
Good night, Dave. <laughs> All jokes aside, look for Jennifer's new show on NBC, Friends with Benefits. <laughs> <laughs> After flipping his SUV last month, Britain's <laughs> Prince Philip has voluntarily surrendered his driver's license. I haven't seen driving this bad since Bobo got behind the wheel of a UPS truck and crashed it 10 seconds later. Okay, and that happened. That happened. You can deny it all you want. But I have sources at UPS that told me you failed your UPS driver's examination. I have sources there. You can deny it. Go ahead, deny it. Deny it if you have to. Go ahead, Bo. Did you no. fail your UPS driver's test? I play Grand you Theft Auto with a UPS truck. Don't do jokes. Did you fail <laughs> your UPS driver's test? Yeah. Yes or no? Yeah. Yes, you did. <laughs> Minus 8,000 <laughs> points. <laughs> right off the bat. You're in the hole, Buster. Nicki Minaj says that she and her cartoon ass are pulling out of the oh BET God. Awards after BET put out a tweet which dissed Nicki. It's a shame that Nicki is pulling out something that I forgot to do on at least two separate occasions. Oh. <laughs> but, There's talk that Disney might be interested in doing a live action remake of the Nightmare Before Christmas movie, playing the part of Oogie Boogie. Uh, that's him right there, yeah. We actually have early gossip on who's gonna play the part of Oogie Boogie. And his name, Big A Andrew Gold! Look at that, look at that guy. You put him in a green knapsack. I mean, the resemblance is uncanny. Watch out, Sally, or Oogie Boogie is going to chain you to his radiator and keep you as a pet. Is that right, AJ? You know what I'm saying? Hey, hold on. Pete Hegseth from Fox News freaked out people when he said he hadn't washed his hands in 10 years. What the fuck? Uh, well, I mean, you know, I don't see exactly what the big deal is. Flutzy hasn't washed her vagina in 30 years. Okay, okay, okay. Bob Costas is now admitting that NBC dropped him from their Super Bowl coverage last year because he said football's concussion problem was destroying people's brains. I hate to disagree with Bob, but the only thing that truly destroys people's brains is the East Side Dave Show! Oh, hey, my fucking music, baby! Come on! Rocket enthusiasm! Yeah. 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 Raucous enthusiasm. Very good. Mild enthusiasm. Pretty decent enthusiasm. Lukewarm enthusiasm. Raucous enthusiasm. That's it. Because what you're about to experience is not a radio show. And I check all the time if we're on the radio dial, and I don't think we are, Andrew, are we? No, we're not. We're, we're not. No, we're not. And what you're about to experience is not a television show. I'm constantly flipping no, through all my favorite on. channels, History, Who Spice, Who Would Have Us On? Yes. No one. No one. So what are we about to experience here, Andrew, East, please? East Side Dave Show. East Side Dave Show. Yeah. East Side Hey, 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 22 miles of hard road, 33 years of tough luck, 44 skulls buried in the ground, calling down through the muck. Ah, yeah! <laughs> Johnny don't like to 
teacher. Johnny don't like the school. One day Johnny gonna do something. Show him he's nobody fool. Oh yeah! Sisters, brothers, make better lovers Family affairs down under the covers Trailer parks, the broken hearts Won't you leave until you're bleeding Roy, ha, ha, take one, baby! Oh, yeah! Oh, yes! Oh, it's not only Roy Harder It's Jack Jack Rover! Oh, yeah, baby! Oh, SJR rocking and rolling tonight. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sally don't like her daddy. Sally don't like her friends. Sally and Johnny watching TV, waiting for it to end. Oh, yeah. Go up, Roy, now. Sisters, brothers, make better lovers Family affairs down under the covers Trailer parks the broken hearts Won't you leave until you're bleeding Yes! 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 22 miles of hard road 33 years of tough luck 44 skulls buried in the ground Crawling down through the muck Oh yeah! Oh yeah, Roy Harder yeah. and Shock Jock Robot. Uh, that was fantastic. SJR has been been joining the musical numbers sure lately. Has, okay, yeah. fantastic. Well done. So, uh, Flutzy, uh, uh, everyone wants to know you had your big Queens of Comedy uh, or Compound Media. Yes, it was such Stacey a good Pressman event. set this up. I'm assuming. Stacy and I think uh, Chrissy as well. Okay, Chrissy so Stacy uh, set this up, and uh, it was the Queens of Compound Media comedy yes. events. You can see all the lovely ladies right there. They're all wonderful. And um, uh, Flutie, yes, did you perform the stand-up material? So oh, we God. couldn't, we and I had to Here do the go. music the whole time. Oh my so God! So I accented the comedy with my flute. So it went so over. you never performed. I couldn't stand up it, because really that was meticulously written out for you. I know, but you know what, Dave? I could do it for all the viewers and listeners tonight. Maybe we'll think about that, Andrew. Though, what do you think about this, Andrew? That microphone is very small. Can you uh, raise it up? You're gonna be a fucking hunchback by the end of the night, um, Andrew. I recall that when you uh, did the uh, Bennington show on Sirius XM Satellite Radio uh, oh, yes. a week and a half ago or so, whenever that was, yes. that um, I, uh, I prepared a little, so a little something for you to say. You, he, on national radio, you, yes. you read it verbatim. It yes, was spectacular. It word. brought down the yes. house. Yep. People are still talking about it I to killed. this day. I killed. Thoughts of Flutzy pussying out. And not doing said stand-up routine. I couldn't do it. Uh, uh, Andrew, thoughts? <laughs> you could have done it. No, I, I couldn't think. have. You weren't yeah. there. Oh, God. <laughs> uncomfortable. Yes. Very uncomfortable. <laughs> that's it, Andrew? Yeah. Okay, that's it. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> that's it. He doesn't yeah. want to talk. Jimmy, uh, yes, I can see that you're clamoring for the microphone so again. So let me ask you something. Yes. You worked hard, sweated to write material for I food scene. I did. Oh, boy. And she did nothing. She did. Jack Got her. Oh boy. I love the raucous enthusiasm, Jimmy. Plus two points. <laughs> you know what she really should be on, Roy? What's she that, really David? should be on the mother fucking Shiza! Shiza! You're the one that reads Shiza! Yes. Yes. Because a fucking entertainer says, whoa, whoa, whoa. Stacy, you just did the Eastside Dave show this past Tuesday. Yes. We gave you 45 minutes of promotion. Now I'm I'm the fucking Eastside Dave show lady. I, I got I, 
No more than four minutes of material. Yeah. I'm getting my fucking Puerto Rican ass up and there and fair, doing the goddamn bit. You don't have that killer instinct that a big A. Andrew so Gold, that a Dave Van, that a Roy Harder has. <laughs> That's you. why you're going to be left in the dust in this fucked up thing called show business. So, you understand me? I told her that I have what? a comedy sketch. And if we have time, I it's can not perform a sketch. It. It's a routine. routine. She probably Whatever thought you were doing some shitty fucking kids Eastside in the Dave hall show act bit, or something. Right? Yeah, an Eastside Dave show bit. <laughs> That's a good graphic. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a set. A comedy yeah, set. A, comedy a routine. Set. So I told her that I have a set. Yes. And she said, well, we already have so many comics on and time is tight. It was like a two hour show. So and what? Everybody. So she's like, you know what? You're playing the music because that's what I want you to do. And if I have time to let you up, then we can do it. But it was literally to the, she was making, she went last, Stacey, and she did her comedy set until the Why last Why was there some sort of cutoff deadline? This, this event started at 11 o'clock at night. It didn't quite start at 11 because the, the show before let out late and then it was like a rush job and like we didn't actually start until later on so it was like a whole thing. I fucking hate those rush jobs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not it Russians. It was. It was a thing. Yeah. It yeah. was a thing. I mean, Big A was there. Oh, yeah, yeah, I was the, there. The show before didn't let out. And yeah, then yeah, Gina, the, the, the woman who was like, you know, doing, you know. The whole you thing. were on stage right yes. there playing the flute. Yes. Yes. Why didn't you just grab the fucking mic <laughs> and start doing goddamn stand up? Because did you say anything to Stacy? Did you did you say hey uh, when 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 when's my fucking well, yeah, I told time her, to shine? I told her beforehand that I would like to do a bit, and then she said, "Okay, uh, we may not have time, but I'll keep oh, it in mind." Whatever. Jesus and the, it's, it works Christ. like a comedy show, so the whole thing was set up. It and don't matter. They could have squeezed you in for Christ's sake. Um, now we, I don't. Where did we, you get this we, I, want, I don't need to hear the volume, Johnny. Thank yeah. you. I, I get a picture. She did the exact same thing that she does on the East Side Kinda, Dave show. Yeah, but she I sat her ass like a stuff. lump on a log. <laughs> All right. You're so loving. You want to make it up. You want to do the per, the stand up sure. tonight? I will read the material. Coming to the stage, you Flutzy, the magical comedian, yeah. the magical Woo. Puerto Rican comedian. Woo. Okay. You do smell good for a change, so that's nice. Yes, she should get a round of applause. How about some points? You point? smell nice. No? What is that for smell? a change? It's her. What it is that? It doesn't uh, smell good to you. Du jour or uh, du jour? Is that uh, Christian du jour? Du jour? It was, it was du jour. No, please. <laughs> it smells like du jour. No, du jour. No, yes. That's fucking pizza. That's microwave pizza. Give me the microphone, David. This show's off the rails anyway. <laughs> uh, do we need microwave pizza talk here? It just smells good, Flutie, baby. <laughs> please do your stand-up bit. I will. This is the thing that would have brought the house fucking down. And I know stand-up. Don't forget. The world's worst comedian, Davey Mack, killed it not just once, but twice on the stand-up stage. Where is the raucous enthusiasm for that? Yeah. Johnny, get ready with that applause sign because sometimes, um, yeah. All right. All so. right, guys. Flutzy here, the magical Puerto Rican comedian. Hi. Wait, is that the time? Okay. Hi, I'm Flutzy, the magical Puerto Rican comedian. You should see me make a line of coke disappear. <laughs> I'm so... Wait, hold on, time out. I, I, I didn't want to well, interrupt, but could you deliver it like, I don't I, know, a stand-up comic? I'm not a stand-up Deli comic! Yeah, you've seen stand-up comedy! You just sat through two hours of stand-up comedy on Saturday! It's like, you First know, you punch understand. the jokes! There's words! There's lines you I, have I to winked. hit! I winked! You didn't... They laughed! Let me do my thing. Go ahead. I'm so honored to be here. Usually on Saturday nights, I'm uh, hanging in Spanish Harlem looking for dick, actually. But, you Your know. Your delivery is atrocious. I'm not a comedian. Usually on Saturday nights, I'm hanging in Spanish Harlem looking for dick. <laughs> <laughs> Usually, but let's do a compare and contrast with each and every joke. If you can't get your usually delivery straight, usually on Saturday nights, I'm hanging in Spanish Harlem looking for dick. All right, that's <laughs> somewhat better. You punch the punchline, bro. That's why I call it punchline. You want me to like, like say this as a man? No, I. You, I'm not looking for dick. You are. But you're, you're a fucking you, chick. You, Go, just exactly. continue. Don't argue. Okay. Go. I get hit on and even offered money by men all the time. It's so exhausting. I should probably quit my job as a prostitute. 
<laughs> my last boyfriend was such a no, mystery. no, no. I get hit on and even offered money by men all the time. It's so exhausting. I should probably quit my job as a prostitute. <laughs> Thank you. Two points for all of you. Great. I like this. This is like I'm learning Go how to be ahead. a comedian. Okay. My last boyfriend was you... such a mystery. That's what I get for dating a guy in a luchador mask. <laughs> <laughs> that was better. I don't even think I need to correct you on that one. <laughs> Playing into the Spanish stereotype of she would be dating a Mexican wrestler with a luchador mask. Okay, continue. Like this. Continue. This is good. Exactly You're like You're finally this. getting it. One of the advantages of being a single <laughs> Puerto Rican woman is how well, easy it is to clean the cum off my plastic covers. <laughs> Me gusta. <laughs> Me gusta. <laughs> Is A-Rod here? I'd like to just let that Dominican centaur treat my vagina like a pinata with his dick. She's changing words. I don't want to say pussy. Boo! Boo! She changed the word pussy to vagina. Because I'm a lady and I oh, say vagina. Oh, fuck that. It's a stand-up comedy set. You're exactly what's wrong with the world right now. Verbatim. You're talking about yourself. You're not going to offend anyone but you. Right. Don't fucking Rebatum. pussy out on us, literally. Rebatum. Fucking Rebatum. say the word. Is A Rod here? I'd like to get that Dominican centaur, like that Dominican centaur, treat my pussy like a pinata with his dick. <laughs> Continue. Let's go. Sometimes people stop me on the street and tell me that I look familiar. That's because the character of Hooker number eight on Netflix, Narcos, was based on me. <laughs> <laughs> No, Continue. No, no, no. I don't know. Your delivery <laughs> just like, needs did. so yeah, much okay. work. It's I, thought, yeah, I thought the, the It's funny, for someone who's been in show business for so long, yeah. she grasps absolutely nothing about show business. Are you aware of this? Not yet. Being a comedian is an art. Go ahead. That takes time. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. To master. Go ahead. I'll play you my fucking This I'll is my first my ever set thing. in my life. Go ahead. It, it's, it doesn't matter. You're, you're the excuse machine. Go well, ahead. It's the truth machine. All right, go At ahead. At my funeral, I'd like the church organ to play my favorite Christian hymn, the Macarena. It's like you're embarrassed to speak the jokes. It's like, at my funeral, I'd like the church organ to play my favorite Christian hymn, the Macarena. Because you're Spanish. It's racist about you, you yes. dumb Spanish idiot. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. You're smart. You're a smart person. You have a degree in something. Okay, continue, You're please. smart too, Dave. Go ahead. One of the accomplishments I'm most proud of in my life is dating 75% of all Menudo members. <laughs> That's like uh, 115 different guys. All right. Go no, ahead. Nothing? Okay. Yeah. This comedy set is crashing harder than Roberto Clemente's plane. <laughs> Boom. Right? Yeah. Jim? Yes. Jim, this fucking comedy set is crashing harder than Roberto Clemente's plane. Okay? <laughs> oh, I got to fly down to Puerto Rico to give all the impoverished people bags of food. Oh, no. Oh, it goes into the water. Continue. I was feeling a little lightheaded the other day, so... My Puerto Rican doctor hooked up an IV to my arm and gave me 50 cc's of Bacardi. I've never been so happy to get medical attention in the back of a dirty bodega. <laughs> <laughs> Big A like that one. <laughs> Go ahead. My name is Flutzy, everyone. Bodega. The magical Puerto Rican comedian. Hasta luego, assos. All right, so there it is. And that's why... I'm glad I didn't have time to perform this. Flutzy, everyone. No, it's because you have no confidence. You're confident. Flutzy, you are Shit. Flutzy. You are funny. It's just she didn't assert herself or really She has no confidence. I know. By the way, the your material. excuse is such bullshit. John, do you have the video of me performing my first time at a comedy club? Uh, in, by the way, in front of Bob Kelly, Colin Quinn... Jimmy's cousin, Colin Quinn, his much more successful cousin at that. Uh, all kinds of famous comedians. And uh, Bob Kelly, because I was doing the show for him on Riotcast, asked me, do you, do you want to do a stand-up set? Yeah, I you know what I said? I said, sure, what the fuck? i never done it before in my entire life. I remember. I thought I introduced you, though, Dave. It's all delivery. It's all confidence. Look at this. Stop it. Stop laughing. Fuck off. I don't know why anyone's laughing. 
That's me right there. I'm really bad at comedy. I don't like being up here. Here are the jokes that I wrote down the paper this morning. How you about hear the that Miley Cyrus? What a fucking whore! <laughs> The only thing that would make her hotter is if she had a big dick that I could suck. What? what? <laughs> See? Sometimes I tell my kids that I was like in World War II, and as good as they the believe me. I'm like, you're a bunch of fucking idiots! Do <laughs> the fucking math! All right, thank you, John. Thank you. But I'm telling you... To the house being brought down. How about that Dave Herman, hot huh? class act? Do you hear Hold about up. him, 70 year old radio host who uh, was hitting on a six year old online? Sounds like 80% of the Riotcast.com hosts here tonight. All right, thank you, John. I'm done with it already. Um, but do you, do you see the difference? Yes. It's it's about owning Your the stage. Aggression really comes no, through. No, it's not about aggression, it's about owning the stage. I know. But are, are we I ever going to get to that have point? The same what flair style. style so i need to find my own style well that's a good point but you did also tell me on thursday make sure you don't forget to write my jokes yes very demanding and i couldn't perform though i don't know what you want from me like well, we didn't have time jimmy how could she have improved well two things <laughs> thank you jim this is no 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 everyone no, knows no, jimmy no, no, is no, a no, comedy no. legend here I, I he's wearing a diaper i mean come on for crying out loud listen to this man speak go ahead jim one I, Lucy, you are funny when yes. you assert yourself. When you assert mm -hmm. yourself, but mm -hmm. you self-defeated yourself, mm -hmm. and you were getting you you played off of that <laughs> jaded attitude, and the jokes didn't come out. But when you punched them, they were funny. Thank you, Jim. They were funny, and they were written brilliantly. Oh, and, oh that's brilliantly. definitely worth two points. Now, wait, 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 and two things. Who needs success when you have the East Side Dave show? Absolutely, that's Jimmy. We're all a bunch of losers in here. Let's be honest. Successful. None cousin. of us is getting far in life. Uh, we're probably going to be dead by 2020. I, At least that's what I'm hoping, right? I mean, I am. I really am. Fingers Can I crossed. say one thing? Yes, John. All right, thanks. I just want to say it was there. And honestly, I don't know if Lutzi, you know, was like, ah, uh, this, uh, this, that. But the thing is, I bet you she would have done great. And... Uh, everyone did very well and played to their strengths. Like Joanne MC, Flutie played the flute and actually became a very fun, funny part of the show. Yes. Okay. Where they would yes. play to the flute as well. So I just wanted to say, you know, it but actually did she became do the stand -up? its own thing. But Thanks, she didn't do the stand-up. She didn't do the stand-up, but the flute became like stand-up. If you were there in between yeah, the jokes and stuff, but we promoted the stand-up on the show. Funny. The stand-up was saying. what was promoted. I think they kind of made her play to her strong suits. I don't know if it was really her choice. You know, I'm just saying, Don't you Dave, think you could be a stand-up comedian? Saying. Are you upset yeah, now? Yeah, I can be, but, like, you know, I just got to figure it out. Like, oh, I don't, God. I've she's got into one it. of these flutesy moods oh, now where okay. she's she's getting destroyed. Oh. Yes, Robert the intern, he's got some advice for flutesy. Oh. Robert knows show business, flutesy. You, you can't yes. play not to lose. You have to play to win. If you were there, you yeah. should have found a way Robert, to do your stand-up. Flutesy, you're taking this way too hard. What is going on over there? Now you're upset? No, I'm listening you, you to the You seem criticism. shook up. You seem shook up a little bit. I'm are fine. You, are, don't lie. Are you shaking up a little bit? Nope. Can we get some tears out? Because that would be enthralling Why television. Why would I cry? Well, it would just be fun. And then I get John to do a close-up <laughs> of your eyeballs. And you would have huge tears going oh, down. And they would be like, oh, shit, this is awkward. But everyone like would shit. be talking the next day. Like, did you see Flutesy have a crying meltdown on the East Side Dave show? I That'd know. be awesome. It would be really I'm, good for ratings. I am just <laughs> saying that that you, <laughs> we all think you're talented. The point is that you definitely need to assert yourself and you need to bring the confidence and you need to bring the mojo and the fire each and every time. <laughs> okay. Dave. Now you're not listening. So okay. That's fine. That's fine. But I'm crying. <laughs> I know. I know. Go ahead, Jim. I kind of feel that the show was used because I thought we were going to see Flutesy. I, I thought we were going to see Flutesy. I think, I think you got used. I, I felt, think if I used my Stacey I feel, Pressman. I, well, I don't want to well, blame I'm Stacey. going there. We're friends with Stacey. All right. But I do feel like, you know, I love we Stacey. fucking, we, we, we talked about it quite a bit. It wasn't even just this past Tuesday. No, it was like th months. for two or three weeks leading up to the show. Four weeks. And how long was that set? Three three minutes at most? Minimum. And you're telling me that you can't fit three minutes into a goddamn thing? And, been... and then we would have had the video. We would have gotten a better uh, and more authentic, natural crowd reaction, mm. which is Silence. what we wanted to see. 
We but wanted instead, to see how she would do on stage. Instead, we got tears, David. But, but, but instead, <laughs> it's all bullshit. I, I, that's just how I feel. All right, feel. Jim, thank you. Shut up now. Hand the microphone back to Bo. <laughs> <laughs> Bo, what'd you think of Flutzy on set? On uh, What'd you think of her tonight, the stand-up right now that she just delivered? She did pretty well. I think she would have knocked that out of the park. <laughs> see? At least one person believes in you. Yeah, don't That's worry that he's clinically insane and mentally unstable. And, you know, there's a few other issues going on upstairs. But don't worry about that. He's a fan. See, what we're trying to do is get you to be the best flutzy you can be. One day you're going to recognize that this is me coaching you to being the gigantic flutzy star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame celebrity that I envisioned her. One day she'll, re she'll recognize that. I'm like Bill Parcells, okay? Now, you, you can either be Tony Dungy, right? Okay, fine. Tony Dungy got his ass a goddamn Super Bowl, right? But Bill Parcells got his fat ass two Super Bowls and brought two different teams to the Super Bowl. Yes. And Bill Parcells is a motivational type. That's all the Dave man is, baby. Deep pack. That's all... Deepak Chopra. Chopra. How did that have anything to do with the current conversation? I'm doing football coaching like analogies, Roy. Plus, he's fucking distracted me, Dave. What do you want me to do? <laughs> or like, uh, Sometimes it's like no one is actually doing the show with me. I just. What? Yes. Or no, I was going to say, much like Deepak and uh, Gandhi, like. Uh, just with, Kylie I Jenner. was just talking coaches. <laughs> oh, yeah. Guys, we're in America, motherfucker. You and you. Deepak. We're not in fucking India. <laughs> no one knows who Deepak Chopra is except for you and the sports doctor. How about Tony Robbins? I know. Oh, oh, you man. don't. You don't. You don't. I do. Yeah. yeah. Um, Everyone knows. Well, I hope. <laughs> well, now everyone's going to be on my ass because uh, I was simply trying to motivate her and make her a better person. So now is the time to say to all of you that my mom is dying. What? What? Okay, that's that's a lie. My my mom slightly no. my mo <laughs> Jimmy's uh, took to the ground. Oh. My mom slightly injured position. her leg though. Oh no! And Beanie. she had to cancel her golf trip. Oh no! Beanie. And even worse, she made my eighty-year-old father take film footage of her for some reason of her limping around. What the? It's creepy. And Dave. it was very odd. It's like a John? Cronenberg uh, film. Yeah. Push the red button. Okay, so. <laughs> your mom is so funny. So, this is how I walk. By the way, she looks perfectly fine. She's walking pretty good, Dave. So, this is how I walk. <laughs> she sent this to me and all my brothers. Push. And she's like, look how screwed up my leg is. That's We're like, you look perfectly fine. You got a hearty walk. You, you know what you look like? An 80-year-old woman oh walking God. around in the living room forcing your 80-year-old spouse to fucking shoot a goddamn iMovie. I'm impressed he actually knows how to... <laughs> <take> <laughs> he <laughs> did it. They probably worked on that thing for 45 minutes. <laughs> it's the red button, Pat! <laughs> Which one do I push? Um, so she's walking oh. back and forth. Then it's a mass text. I still don't know, for the love of Pete, how to get out of the mass texts. It's like the same thing with the East Side Dave Show group uh, message on Facebook. <laughs> yeah. There's Jimmy will option. fucking, I'm trying to work hard on the show because it's Tuesday and I have to get interrupted with eight Jimmy's waving at yous <laughs> on the fucking Facebook Messenger. <laughs> you know what goddamn day it is, Jim? It's Tuesday! Stop fucking interrupting me! Minus four! <laughs> four. Damn. Minus four, Jim! Oh, well, you got a problem with that, Jimmy? Yes, Andrew. <laughs> you're so nice. You never interrupt you. me. That's because you don't have a yep. computer that works, nor a phone. <laughs> but go ahead. I'm telling you. My arm hurts from all the waving I do it at Jimmy. Jimmy has to keep saying waving, waving. Jimmy asks what? Oh, Jimmy says he's waving, waving. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jimmy says he's waving, waving, is what Andrew just said. <laughs> he's right. 
you too much with the waving. There's got to be a new rule with the Eastside Dave Show Facebook Messenger. Let's communicate when we kind of have to or if something funny pops up. But none of this Show waving material. or there's a, get these waves? Well, be, uh, because you're not invited to the group. <laughs> because you're, you're, you would be the number one culprit <laughs> of unimportant waves and whatnot. <laughs> but we all know how you roll. <laughs> well, the last time I waved to him... Was the yeah, no, you guys thing. probably had a 15-minute discussion of Deepak Chopra. No, we okay. <laughs> it, 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 it's beside the point. <laughs> Leave me alone, both of you. <laughs> Did you see that they're going to, the newest chick remake or reboot, whatever it is, is going to be Dirty Rotten Scoundrels? I've heard about this. And now this. it's Anne Hathaway and Rebel Wilson. That's right. In the Steve Martin, Michael Caine roles? Yeah. Dirty what Martin. the fuck is this now? Got me, Dave. Every single fucking movie. I mean... Me Too movement galore. What I don't understand is, why not simply take the existing film, if you want to have women do it, yeah. come up with your own names, your own stories. Like, just like the Ghostbuster women. Don't make it a Ghostbusters thing, but call them like spirit killers, you know, <laughs> or or fucking spook capturers. Although some people, oh some God. people might think that's, that's a little ridiculous. racist. But you see what I'm saying? You, you don't need to rebrand the shit just with women like Ocean's Eight. Just have the chicks in Vegas pulling off a goddamn caper. It's bothering the fucking piss out of me. You know who else it's bothering? What else, what? David? Chuck Chuck Robot, it's bothering his little fucking robot ass. Yeah. He's no round of applause. You got Chuck, that Chuck, 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 Hi, Shock Chuck Robot, how are you? You'd be better if I suffocated to death on a black dildo, is what he said. He's, I interpret what he said. Fine. What do you think of this uh, Dirty Rotten Scoundrels woman reboot? Woman con artists is redundant. They're just called women. Okay, that's sexist. That's what that is. It's sex. Yes, it is sexist. What? Anne Hathaway should try conning an orthodontist out of a pair of braces. Oh. What he just said. That's rude. Don't sit. What? <laughs> Anne Hathaway's choppers are so big, you can feed her an apple through a fence. <laughs> Not nice at all. What? Astronomers have just discovered giant ancient monoliths on the moon. Oh, wait, that's just Anne Hathaway's dental x ray. <laughs> Rude, she's a beautiful woman. Stop it already. What's that? Anne Hathaway's teeth are so big. You could carve a life-sized rendition of Mount Rushmore out of those things. It's not nice. Come on. She's an Oscar winner, huh? If someone were to cut Anne Hathaway open, the little Kittner boy would spill out all over the dock. Because she has sharp teeth. We got the joke. We understand. Wrap it up. Okay, wrap it up here. If Anne Hathaway ever asked you for a bite of your sandwich, be prepared to lose the whole sandwich. Please bring this to an end. I want to... What? Your favorite Anne Hathaway role was when she played that character that fucked with Elmer Fudd. Uh, that's Bugs Bunny. It's a big rabbit with the teeth. It's offensive. As well. Huh? You once got oral sex from Anne Hathaway. <laughs> the T-Rex from Jurassic Park gives a better blowjob. Okay, that's a shock chuck robot. I apologize. It's offensive. Sexist is what it is. Oh, Roy Hodder. How are you, Roy Hodder? And Pretty good, David. How you doing, baby? Anything fun happened to you since the last time I saw you, which was last Tuesday, in yeah, fact, for the Eastside Dave Show? I've been super busy. You've been busy. busy? Yeah. What's going on, baby? I've been Talk to me. I've been mixing all those after shows for, uh, for MTV, all those, like, Jersey Shore, Lindsay Lohan episodes, yeah. all those after shows. You want to say that on the air? You want to be specific with that? Well, yeah, why not? Okay, fine. 
Because you may lose a client after they yeah. see this broadcast. I take it back. You know what? <laughs> I haven't been doing shit. <laughs> I've been real quiet. Things have been slow. It's strange that I'm more protective <laughs> over your non East Side Dave show career than you are. You know when the camera it's weird. when the camera turns on me, I feel like I can just you know let you it can't. out there. You I can't. can't. There are repercussions. <laughs> I can't. I can't. Um, uh, so you're you're mixing down a lot of stuff. Do I smell another Emmy coming your way? Maybe. How we'll about see. that famous director? Do you see him still Jim, in your hallways? Jim Jarmusch, yes. Jim Jarmusch <laughs> has day. been mixing down one of his uh, films. We're well, he's say been that. editing his editing film. Editing his film. Right next door to me. Right next door. So yeah. literally every single Tuesday I see him, I also see Jim Jarmusch about to take yeah. a piss. <laughs> I'm like, enjoy that piss! You ever <laughs> need someone <laughs> in a Jim Jarmusch <laughs> movie? Yeah. You know? <laughs> Davey Matt. Right. We'll make a sequel to Smoke or something. Bamski. We'll get you in there, buddy. I love it. We'll get you in there. Um, so uh, so is he still around? He's still yeah, doing his thing? Yeah, he's always there. He actually, every time I see him in the hallway, he gives me like a nod, but he always pretends like he's on the phone, but I know for a fact he ain't on the fucking phone. <laughs> <laughs> he just doesn't want to talk to me. He's like... <laughs> Do you talk to him? I, Do you say, I, anything? hey, Jim Jarmusch, hey, Jim, what's I, up, bro? Well, last week I wish him... Uh, coffee and cigarettes, by the way. That's it, yeah. Also Jim Jarmusch, yeah. Uh, last two weeks ago, I wished him a happy birthday, and he was like, pretend talking, and then he said... Well, it's creepy. Yeah. You have like, no relationship, so for you no. to wish a stranger a happy birthday... Basically, a guy on the elevator... Makes, makes you a cyber stalker. Hey, man, happy birthday. <laughs> How did you know it was my birthday? Exactly. <laughs> I'm going to get a restraining order against you. It wouldn't be the first one, Roy oh. Harder. It's all right, buddy. Um, well, that's... It's all right. <laughs> Mike Francesa is in trouble now. Because he used the term cotton picking. <laughs> you can't say that anymore. Uh, yeah. <laughs> right. Right? John, do you have this one here? Uh, oh, my God. <laughs> this guy. Is but yeah, he didn't say it about a black person. Oh, here we my go. My argument for Brady is this. My father had the greatest receiver that ever played the game. He had Dwight Clark. He had Roger Craig. who was probably the greatest receiver out of the backfield. Brady got lacrosse players, college quarterbacks. You are out of your cotton picking, Mike. Brady's got Hall of Famers everywhere. You are nuts. You are so lost. Gronkowski's a Hall of Famer. You can't play better than I Edelman mean, plays. Brady uh, had Randy Moss you're earlier. At, you're, you're, you're are you kidding me? Okay, How many idea, defensive guys did he have? That Tom Brady. Okay. okay. This idea that Tom Brady, you know... Doesn't have you know you okay? He's got so many cotton pick in the Hall of Famers. He's got so many big lipped, <laughs> lazy. <laughs> Go ahead, David. Non swimming. <laughs> <laughs> non suntan lotion applying. This is should not be getting this kind of reaction. It's so disturbing. It's, this idea that Tom Brady doesn't have all these welfare check grabbing. Skilled dancing. That's the sound of my career going down the toilet, Dave. <laughs> You still want to talk about that project you had on MTV? <laughs> Go ahead! Jolly boy! Make sure you isolate this segment, send it to MTV, and be like, well, this is who your producer is. This is who your editor is now, okay? <laughs> the fact that Tom Brady has got all these <laughs> crime committing, <laughs> old lady mugging, White woman r raping wide receivers, okay? It's beyond me. I'm Mike Francesa. White power, America. <laughs> the point is, what a racist he is. Damn straight, You can't David. say that word. Very offensive. God damn it, Mike. We're fucking offended by your shit, man. You're fucking... You know what? Scheiser is ass for the racism. Scheiser! Scheiser! You're the one that we despise! It's racist, Michael. John, do we have another clip? This one is less racist. He's talking about the Oscars. Oh. It's uh, in Mike Francis' world. Learned... Oh, here we go. 
how to not only coexist, they learn how to love each other. And it is an incredibly well-acted, brilliant movie. <laughs> and brilliant. the name of the Nothing movie of is called Black Green Dick's Boy. Big Cocks, Volume 4. It's a gay black porn. <laughs> I got a screener from it. I believe uh, the name of the studio company is uh, Swank Magazine. And they sent me a free copy. <laughs> And it was two cotton pickers <laughs> fucking each other <laughs> proper, you know? And the thing about the blacks mm -hmm. is when one's fucking the other, you're not sure where his cock goes. Because it's so dark. There's a black butt and a black dick. And you don't know where each one disappears and which one begins. <laughs> and then all of a sudden you're like, it's 1968. And you're shooting Martin Luther King in the head. And you're like, da! Ah! White power! <laughs> all right, so that's Mike Francis there for you. Now, um... <laughs> It's terrible the way he acts these days. <clears throat> very Ever offensive. since he came back to the fan, he is it's so good, Dave. He's very, he's very offensive. Low, low class. Low class That's indeed. It. Bo? Yeah. Bo, how you doing, buddy? I'm doing good. Yeah? You're wearing that uh, nice uh, winter hat inside there. Yeah. What do you Bo, the microphone needs to go to your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't do anything good on your knee. Yeah. You okay? I'm okay. Now, I see you're wearing a Mets hat and a Giants sweatshirt. I've yeah. noticed something. Yeah. No love for the New York Knickerbockers, uh, ever. I love the Knicks. And? I just, of course, there is one thing I have a problem with the Knicks. What? Jim Dolan. Oh, me too. <gasps> James Dolan, this is the truth. Okay. Okay, so Bo and I finally agree on something. You found something in common there. I am, I have decided to boycott attending any New York Knicks games in person until their owner, James Dolan, who's ruined the franchise, until he send, he sells the team, I am boycotting the New York Knickerbockers. And also because I can't actually afford a ticket. That's the other reason. But until James Dolan sells the team, you will never... See Eastside Dave McDonald sitting front row courtside at a New York Knicks game, baby! Because yeah. yes. I got some fucking morals, baby! Yeah. Yeah. And also, because I could never afford in a million years to sit courtside at a New York Knicks game. I mean, let's think about that for a second. So really, my boycott isn't a very strong one. <laughs> Flutzy, you ready to do your flute game now? Mm -hmm. You've be... drank your water. You've had a good time over there. You've, you're going to come back right now. Flutzy to the stage, everyone! Flutzy, Flutzy, yeah, Liberace, he died of AIDS, oh. Flutzy, Flutzy, she's got Liberace, she's going to die of AIDS, oh. Okay. Okay, good. Good for you. How's your herpes? <laughs> You're, she's very angry. I can tell. Yeah, I know. What? I mean, you just she talk is. about it. The so they're always ask. a little feisty, David. <laughs> she's very. Ever noticed that you're not allowed to give her constructive criticism? Have you ever noticed that? that this is this is this is a trait of hers, and I try to uh, so help her. So is everything her. I say now going to be a problem? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. But I'm trying to help you. Had you that's fine. I'm over those it. Those jokes you would have fucking killed, and then all of a sudden we have a goddamn new. Puerto Rican comedy star on the scene. All right, you know what? How's this? We'll do another set next week, and you, I'll work you on write, it. You write them next time no. if you don't like Here my we material. Go. Okay. go ahead. Oh, wait. This is the... This is the flute game. Yes. 877-962-6846. If you know the movie of the song she is playing, then you call up. You guess it correctly, and you become the February 12th, 2019 Eastside Dave Show champion, which is an amazing Woo! prize. You can change your Twitter profile to say that if you want to, you know? Okay. Are you ready now? Yes. Okay.
Okay, that was well played. Um, Lovely. I know the movie. Do you? I know the song. I'm trying to place the movie. I know the movie. Jimmy, do you know the movie? No. I figure you're the only one here who's going to know it. Andrea, maybe? No clue. No clue. Uh, Bo, what about you? I think I know the no, movie. No, you have no idea. Stop lying. <laughs> um, give it give it to uh, the intern there. Robert, do you know the uh, the song that, that she's playing here? No, I do not. No, no idea, Robert. And Robert, how are you, by the way? You traveled four hours in this fucking blizzard to be here. Unbelievable. Yes. And you, and you still showed up before Flutzy. Four extra bonus points to you, Robert. I showed up on time, baby. No, you did not. Andro? Uh, no clue. No clue. <laughs> I know the song. Uh, you have to be a, a real film buff, I think. I mean, at one point, decades ago, this was a major blockbuster. But let's be honest, it's been quite some time. Not sure if it's li if it's remembered in the same capacity. I think I just remembered it. Now, the did. first caller, this is not me bullshitting. This is who, I I am I right here? John, Sharon was the first caller. Oh, yeah. Sharon got in here early. So, Sharon... The greatest hey, what's player up, yeah? in flute game history. It's Sharon and Mike, the magic and bird of the flute game. But Sharon is officially the single greatest player in the history of the game. Hey, girl. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Sharon, do you know this song? Would you like to hear a replaying of this song? I would like to hear a replay. Okay. Flutie, give her a, a replay. I have a guess, but I'm just. Okay, not think about sure. this. Think about this. This is the big time movie. Years ago. Very nicely done. Okay. Beautiful. Sharon, you are yes. on the hook for this one. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. My guess is, I think it's The Mummy. The Mummy. Hmm. Lucy? Sharon, I can't give it to you this time. Get her off the phone, Peter! Hockey! Get her off the fucking phone, man! Who's our next caller, Hawk? Would that be Eric, John, or Steve? I see three people up there. I don't know who was first. We're going with uh, Steve. Steve? Okay. Steve, Steve, you are up now. Steve, 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 uh, Steve Hey, how's Steve? it going? It's going quite well, Steven. Do you have a guess here for the song that Fuji just played? What movie is it from? Uh, I believe it's Raiders of the Lost Ark. Raiders of the Lost Ark. Oh, Steve. I can't give it to you. Get her off the phone! Get her off the phone! Get her off the phone! Get her off the phone, hockey! What a dozy! Uh, there was a lot of <laughs> sand, though, in this movie. There was. Just like Raiders of the Lost Ark. You were there not was. allowed to guess, Jimmy. I'm sorry. Bobo knows it. He okay, knows he doesn't. He does. I know it. Who's David. next? Hawk! I think John. Go with uh, John. John! Johnny! John, 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 John! Oh! Hey, can you hear me? Yes, yes, we can, John. I can't. Okay, okay, this isn't. My name's Doug. He got it wrong. It's not John, it's Doug. I cannot. I cannot. I apologize for my arch His nemesis. His name is fucking Doug Hawk! His goddamn fucking name not is anymore. Doug, you son of a bitch! I think uh, that's his It's name. not John! Doug, 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 Doug! This is okay. a, not funny. I apologize. Doug, Doug, yeah. sorry. That, that's got to be, a, uh, that's a Lawrence of Arabia, is it not? You know what, John? You got it His right. I know. Oh, John. <laughs> John, 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 John. Doug is his fucking name. Doug. Doug, you're a winner tonight. Doug. <laughs> Change your Twitter profile to the February oh 12, God. 2019 Eastside Dave Show champion. Shit, change your Facebook, your Instagram profile to those as well. And birth certificate. That's your prize tonight, Dougie boy. What a contestant. Take care of all this business. All right. Thank you, Doug. Tag me. Goodbye, Doug. Doug, Doug, Doug. Doug's a champion. Give a round of applause for Doug. Doug, 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 Doug. 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 Doug.
Nevada. You know what? Lawrence of Arabia. Lawrence, Lawrence I actually, of Arabia. I thought it was Dune when you said oh, sand. No, no, no years, ago, years and years and years ago. You know what? I knew it was going to be difficult, but I, defense, knew, I actually knew that. You know what? To defend my arch nemesis for a second, I think Doug and John really sound alike, so... Why would you ever what? defend Hawk? He is your arch nemesis. You know what? You're now right. You're right. Fuck Let's Hawk. Go after him. Fuck him. You see Once what I'm again, screwing up you everything. <laughs> you're totally right. You know what, Hawk? I can't be on your side. Fuck you. You had oh, one moment with which you could attack this motherfucker and shit all over him. And you fucked it up. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Use your goddamn comedy noggin point. once in a while. Now it's time to everyone! Flutsy, Flutsy! She like the lava! She like a chata! And like she chata! Flutsy, Flutsy! Liberace! He got the 80! He's dirty! Microphone jam. Please. Bobo did know the answer because the second time Jim. Bobo knew the answer. <laughs> what? He Bobo knew. He said Lawrence of Arabia. And when I get it the second time, the second time I knew what it was when Flutie played okay, so stop. beautifully. Okay, Enough. Thank Enough. You. What? I appreciate that your enthusiasm. No, no. He can, he can keep the microphone for a second because I just noticed that uh, I don't know why it took me this long. Could you stand up, please? Because you appear to be wearing a diaper on the outside of your jeans. <laughs> please stand up. I'm. Embarrassed to say it took me 57 minutes. What the fuck? I guess I thought it was actually your shirt. But now I see very clearly it's a diaper. And now you're doing dance moves oh. and disgusting gyrations <laughs> that is turning off everyone. Why is it on the outside of your pants? Did you get <laughs> struck by lightning again, Jimmy? Is that what's happening here? Why on the outside of your pants? Do you know what's going on? Oh, I've been talking to friends of mine lately because I'm afraid of psychologists. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and they said that, you know, uh, that I, I go for negative attention. Yes. That's, that's what they think about my appearances on the show. They're very, they're, they're absolutely correct. So last year they did it. I, I did, and I'm going like, well, I tell them I'm from a broken family. Yeah. And, right. I, and, I, and whatever, it, there's no such thing as negative attention, there's only attention. Okay. Uh, you know. So you, in other words, you had absolutely no. Retort. See, like, you Andrew, had no defense. Andrea is very like turned off by this whole conversation, <laughs> and that turns me on, and that's my issue, and I'll deal. With it. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll tell you what uh, might take place. Well, let me just tell you this, Roy. What's that, Dave? Tyra Banks, Mel B, and Heidi Klum. Mm. They're all leaving America's Got Talent. Get out of here. Wow. I won't leave Howie B. I won't. Howie Mandel and Simon will stay on as judges. Terry Crews will be the new host. But that also means that they're looking for two new judges. I'd like to submit myself and Roy Harder. Yes. But here's the thing. We need to prove that we're good judges. Yes. So right now, we're going to play the East Side Dave Show's Got Talent. Yeah. Yeah. Which, in and of itself, is a gigantic lie. But let's just you know, pretend. For the sake of the show, let's pretend the Eastside Dave show got talent. And the contestants will be Andrew, Flutzy, Bobo, Jimmy. I'm in the contest. Maybe Andrea? Yeah. Robert? Oh my God, so all, everyone is doing this. Okay, this is fantastic. This has got me very, very excited. I don't know where to start. Yes, I do. His name is Big A, Andrew Gold. Go ahead. First, first, tell us what your talent is, I guess. And then, uh, you um, know, let, let it go, baby. Rip Andrew, it and grip it. This is Andrew Gold. I'm from the Bronx. Um, hey, I like this. Andrew Gold from the Bronx. Um, I'll be dancing, hopefully. He'll be dancing music. Yes. Something that Roy will be playing, perhaps? Of course. Okay. All right. And there's always lots of dance acts, so this is very fun. Yeah, right, right, right there, right, right in front. Check out that monitor. Move back a little bit. 
Can we pull back a little, Johnny, so he can get his giant head in there? No? We'll just move back closer to the foot. There we go. All right. Go for it. Yeah! Oh, yes! <laughs> Andrew, everyone! Well, I tell you, Andrew, I have seen lots of dance acts in my route, in my entire life. Yes. But that one was by far the shittiest. Oh. What, I'm the mean judge. Me and Roy are the judges. Oh, okay. Yeah. Roy, yeah. you yeah. you judge him. You I ju thought, I'm the Simon Cowell. He's more of the Howie Mandel I, type. I thought, I thought it was just great, David. I, I liked what he brought to the table. I, I Clearly, he, he did a lot of work. He practiced it. It was a great choreography <laughs> there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send him through, David. He's getting sent through the next round, Andrew. He got sent through, baby. All right, next up, um, let's go with Bo. Next up, uh, Bo, please tell us your name, where you're from, and then stand up and do your uh, routine, whatever that my, may be. My name is Bobo, a comic from Queens, New York. Stand up and do your thing. We're all going to stand in the same spot that Andrew was. Move back, the same spot where Andrew was. The same spot where Andrew was, which is close to Jimmy. Oh, my God. Pull him back. It's a fucking camera. You right. go backwards to be on the camera more. It's like he never has to, ever done this before, ever. Oh ever. Right, I'm fucking ready to go. Christ. Ready to go. All right. Every never fucking. Done this. Go ahead. All right. People are asking me who, um, who who's my date for this Thursday. Well, what's your name? Where are you from? My, and what's your routine, bro? All right. My name's Daniel. I'm a, <laughs> I'm a comedian from Queens, New York. That's doubtful. Let's go. All right. Right. Be <laughs> Yeah. People, Go ahead. people were asking, been asking me, who, who am I going on a date with on Thursday? I was tr debating whether to choose between to go out with my left hand or my right hand. <laughs> yeah. I decided to choose against going out with my right, my left hand because my left hand decided to join Antifa and called me too on myself. <laughs> I don't know. All right, keep going. This so I decided to die, date my right hand. Okay. Because my right hand appreciates yeah. me wearing that red hat. Right. Aww. Is that, is that the whole bit? And, and of course, also, uh... Is this ha ha actual stand-up comedy? I'm sorry, or is this some sort of confession you're doing here? What's happening here? That was a stand-up comedy. It is stand-up. Okay, I wasn't sure exactly. <laughs> right, 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 right. Seemed like a little bit of a meltdown. Go ahead. No. All right. But yeah, also, had the Coast Guard know... Know who was what shark was responsible for the shark attack recently? Don't know. They fat because they noticed that the Coast Guard ate all the seamen. Bravo! Where's my golden buzzer? Where's my golden buzzer, David? Yeah. Do you have more? Is that it, or is that is that the end? You 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 can quit quit any time. And that. Any time he's like, yeah, I think I'll walk away right now. <laughs> um, I tell you, Bo, I've seen a lot of stand-up comedy in my time, and that was the shittiest stand-up I've ever seen. Damn. I'm the mean judge. Yeah. I don't Go. know, David. If I had a golden buzzer, I'd give it to him. <laughs> I'm gonna send him through. He had a lot of heart. You got a sent lot of through, spirit. baby. Send him through, David. You got sent through to Hollywood, baby. You got through, baby. All right, next up is Flutzy. All right. Hello, everyone. I'm no, Flutzy get from the Bronx, and I am a contortionist. Contortionist. Oh, yeah. All right. Someone mic her maybe, uh, you know, uh, while she uh, contorts. Okay, she, she need... Grab the microphone, Jimmy, and mic her. Okay. Hold on one second. Hold on one second, wanna, please. This is going to be, yeah, you want some dangerous music, Yeah, yeah Flutie, give, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Give her some, yeah, there we go. Okay, she's doing um, what seems to be normal aerobic exercises at this point. Oh, wait a second. Not bad. She lifted herself up. That takes a lot of strength, especially with that ass of hers. You know what? <laughs> that thing by itself weighs about 85 pounds. 
That's it. All right. Oh, yeah. Gucci it. contortionist, anyone? I tell you, I've seen a lot of contortions in my time. Blah, blah, blah. Shittiest yeah, yeah. contortions. Guy okay, Roy? I don't know, but I thought it was fucking fantastic, David. I'm definitely going to send her through. She got send her through, Flipsy. You're yeah. going to Hollywood, dog. You made it. Okay. Next up is Andrea. Let's keep the girl power going right now. Andrea. She is next. Tell us your name, where you're from, and what your talent is, please. All right, my name is Andrea. I'm from Whitestone, Queens, and uh, you go, girl. You go, girl. Yes. I I have a spelling joke to tell. So, oh, good. Second grade teacher walks into her class. She says, "Okay, class, today we're going to learn how to spell with the syllables of our names. So, for example, my name is Jane Smith. So you got your J A N E, you got your Jane, you got your S M I T H, you got your Smith, got your Jane Smith. She says, uh, "Who else would like to try? How about Archibald in the back?" He says, I don't know, I think my name's too hard. So this kid in the front, Bob Myerson, says, pick me, pick me. She says, okay, Bob, go ahead. He says, all right, you got your B-O-B, -B, got your Bob, got your M-Y, got your my, got your Bob my, got your E-R, got your er, got your Meyer, got your Bob Meyer, got your S-O-N, got your son, got your er son, got your Myerson, you got your Bob Myerson. She says, very good, Bob. Wow, that's almost impressive in and of Archibald itself. Archibald stands up in the back and he says, all right. You got your A-R-C-H, got your arch, got your I, got your arch I, got your B-A-L-D, got your bald, got your eye bald, got your arch eye bald. Got your A-S-S, got your ass, got your bald ass, got your eye bald ass, got your arch eye bald ass. Got your H-O-L-E, got your hole, got your asshole, got your bald asshole, got your eye bald asshole, got your arch eye bald asshole. Got your B-R-O-K-E, got your broke, got your hole broke, got your asshole broke, got your bald asshole broke, got your eye bald asshole broke, got your arch eye bald asshole broke. And fuck you, Bob Myerson. Yeah! Oh my! Wow! Wow, indeed! That was like a, a rap song or that something. That was fantastic. Smart. Who would have thought? I don't even know what the hell I, she was going on about. I don't know David. if that was a stand-up. Uh, as Roy said, some Just, sort of a lyric from Onyx. Yeah. yeah. Or what the fuck was going on? But it was very impressive. It, I mean, it was, uh, very definitely impressive, good, Andrea. Very I'm, I'm pleasantly good. surprised. Yeah. I was going to say that was the shittiest blah, blah, blah. But I actually rather enjoyed that. You know what? I'm stealing from Roy Harder. I'm sending your ass through to Hollywood, dog. Yeah. I'm golden buzzer in your ass, I Roy. Know, I don't know, David. I'll be honest oh. with you. I've heard that one in the past. Yes. Uh -oh. You know, um, uh -oh. so it, it kind of, she didn't quite have the mm -hmm. same thing, but I was liking her story, so, so X, let's X. set her through anyway. Fuck you it. got yeah. sent through by both of us. Okay. I say we go to Robert, the intern, next, oh, right? Yeah, you know Boy. he's going to kill it, but let's Robert. do it. Robert. Here comes Robert. Robert takes a four-hour train just to get here, and then on the same night, doesn't stay over in New York, on the same night, takes a four-hour fucking train to get back Is that his to talent? Western Pennsylvania. <laughs> <laughs> it should be. I mean, my God. Yeah, for real. <laughs> the poor son of a bitch. I he, tell him, I go, if you want to come once a month, you can. You don't have to, you know. The, no, don't. sorry. He's Look like, I got to do it. It was like, the, the, today was like a fucking blizzard. Yeah. It took him eight hours to get here. And he's got sneakers on, white ones at that. It's amazing. Robert, Perfectly name, clean. location, and what your talent is. Uh, Robert Hershey, and I'm going to do some stand-up as well. Robert Hershey stand-up. Excellent. Yes, okay, Robert. Woo. All right. It's going to be difficult to follow Andrew. I'm going to yeah, be honest I know. with that you. That was a great a joke. One. I know. Um, so a lot of people think New Coke was the worst rebranding of all time. Apparently, those people have never been to New Jersey. <laughs> you know, I'm from New Jersey. It's highly offensive, I mean, but go yeah. ahead. Continue. To be fair, to be fair, I've never been to Old Jersey, but I find it's hard to believe that it's worse than this shit. <laughs> if you're it's upsetting, it's upsetting me. It's upsetting me. If go you're ahead. still not convinced, name another state that makes you pay to leave, and you do so <laughs> willingly. I could have five dollars to my name, and I'd be at that border. And my only thought would be, I'm going to be one hungry motherfucking Pennsylvanian. <laughs> <laughs> I found some success in comedy, so I tried to start up a few businesses. The first one I came up with was Roman Nails. Good enough for your savior. Good enough to hold together your child's swing set. <laughs> uh, then you had Van Gogh's hearing aids. So good, you'll only ever need one. <laughs> And the last one was for a lubricant company called Lubricant. Oh, man. <laughs> you I don't like think it needs a slogan, but it does. Robert, everyone! Oh, my God. Robert! Yeah. Bring in the thunder! The Daves of Thunder! Uh, Robert, 
I've seen a lot of stand-up comedy in my time. Now, you know what, Robert? Let me be honest with you. That was actually pretty decent. And yes, I'm largely saying this out of guilt because of your eight-hour round trip. So, well done, Robert. You're off to Hollywood, <laughs> in my opinion. Just out of my opinion, but Roy, uh, what do you think? I thought he had a great story, David. I like where he was coming story? from. What's that? Story. Story. You know, where you know he looks like a guy that has a good story to tell, and I'm. I think the America is ready to fall in love with Robert. So you know what? I'm gonna pass him on. I'm gonna pass him through. Let's go. Yeah. Come Come on, Robert. Hollywood. Robert, Robert you're going to Hollywood, baby. You made it, baby. You got through, baby. Who's left? Oh fuck, Mr. Diaper. Okay, Jimmy. Um, grab the mic. Name, location, and talent. Thank you. And if um, you say wearing a goddamn diaper is your fucking talent, <laughs> don't be we're nervous, throwing man. you out of this window. Don't be nervous. It's all right. <laughs> With or without the diaper. My name With is Jimmy. With diaper, please, because I want to wait here while you take it off. Name, location, and talent, please. I'm, I'm singing a song that Dave told me to sing before Name, the show. Name, oh, wait, wait. location, and fucking talent. Oh, all God. you have to do is listen. Guess not. <laughs> it's gonna sing a song. <laughs> Name, location, and talent, you <laughs> piece of shit. If the next fucking word out of your mouth isn't your goddamn name and location, I swear to God, and Andrew's gonna take that mic cord and fucking strangle you to death like he does one of his $15 whores at Hunts Point. You understand me? Name, location, and talent. Get up and let's rock a little bit. You're slowing the goddamn hey. thing down. My name is Jimmy. Hold on, Andrew. What? Oh, uh, Jimmy was giving uh, flutzy shit. <laughs> Look at him uh, acting unprofessional is now. Is that true? Now you're the one who's acting unprofessional, I was Jim. I now was you're not giving you crap. Now was... you're the unprofessional, Jim. Let's go. My name is Jimmy. I'm from New York. Thanks. I'm ready to sing. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta have heart All you really need is heart When the odds are saying you'll never win That's when the cringe should start You gotta have hope Mustn't sit around and moan When they try to be a genius, of course to be on that horse before the cart When your luck is batting zero How long Get are we your do chin this up off the floor Sing shine on your crazy dime Mr. Hero, you can be a hero You can open any door There's nothing to it but to do it You gotta have heart Miles and miles and miles of heart Saying you'll never win. That's when the grin should start. Oh, you gotta yeah. have heart. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Holy shit, where did you pull that out? I got goosebumps, David. I got goosebumps. I gotta say, I've seen a lot of singing in my years. <laughs> Some of the shittiest, but gl most glorious singing I've ever seen. You're third of Hollywood, motherfucker. Send it through, David. I'm, I'm so crying. I'm so All crying. Right. I say we choose one. One person and one person only who won Eastside Dave Show's Got Talent. And there can only be one winner, Roy. I have an idea who I want to win. But we have to say it on the count of three. Like one, two, three. Three, and we say, say it. it. Okay. If we agree, yeah. then we agree. All right. One, One two, two, three. three. Jimmy, you, you, yeah. you said fa la 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 No, I said Jimmy. You, you didn't. Uh, 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 I said Jimmy. You spoke in tongues because you didn't want to disagree with what I was saying. So you spoke gibberish. Hey, David. That's what gibberish. you did. So One, two, two three. Jimmy! Well 
done indeed. Jimmy, everyone! Bravo, Jimmy. Yeah, that was a shocker right there. Sure was. I huh? did not predict that happening. I was ready to give it to Andrea. Andrea, Jimmy stole your thunder, as they say on Sports Talk Radio. <laughs> That guy stole my thunder, Mike. There's always a fucking guy who is going to say, well, the guy before me made all my points. You know, he stole my thunder. Like, well, I still don't even know what the fuck that means. It means absolutely nothing, David. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. Oh, man. What a raucous, enthusiastic show tonight. Thank you for being a friend Traveling back again in time and bed Damn. All is true, you're a pal and a confidant And if you threw a party Invited everyone you knew You would see the biggest gift would be to me And the crowd of that would say Thank you for being Friend. Yeah, how about that? How about that? That's your talent, that David. That was my That's talent. That's your talent. The Golden Girls theme song. That was my talent. That's what I brought to the table. Um, so uh, <laughs> there's something that uh, kind of made me smile, which was that uh, someone gave Cardi B. Are you familiar with her, Roy? She is a black rapper. She's actually uh, very much like Flutzy. She's of the Hispanic descent. Hispanic rap. Yes. Okay, gotcha. Yes. Uh, Don't she, argue with me, David. Look at the, I got the, the Emmys, black. buddy. <laughs> Everyone <laughs> thinks she is, but actually yeah. uh, her parents are from uh, Dominican Trina Republican and Trinidad. And Trinidad. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And, oh, you're clapping Trinidad, Jim. Good for you. Um, Cardi B, though, yeah. she got the bouquet of flowers after she won a Grammy oh, nice. uh, recently. And... Mm. I'm thinking about that because the Golden Girls lyric, the card attached, the yeah. card attached uh, uh, said to her, uh, uh, you're so big you can uh, bring this town down or some bullshit like that. Anyway, it was, fr it was fr quoting a Tom Petty song. Oh, yeah. You okay. know that song, yeah. right? I, I certainly do, David. And, uh, oh, yeah, you've got a heart so big it could crush this town. Tom Petty. So anyway, um, so the person, you know, Quoted a Tom Petty lyric. Look at Cardi B's reaction here. Petty for the flowers, I left well, the room, but uh, Johnny, thank, you, for... <laughs> oh thank you, Tom Petty. From the very beginning, John. She kind of blew it. Thank you, Tom Petty, for the flowers. I left the room, but oh my God. Um, and the flowers were very big. I want to say thank you so much. And this is such a beautiful note. I mean, she sounds like Flutzy. So she's exactly oh like Flutzy. Oh my God. <laughs> Sadly, Tom Petty died in 2017. No, but he came so, back from the dead to give her the flowers. I guess zombie Tom Petty wow. is a Cardi B fan. Jeez. Giving her zombie Damn. flowers. Yes. That is cool. And she yes, doesn't even did know anything Tom sound Petty more is, like Flutzy? Or a, I swear to God, I thought it was Flutzy on that goddamn video. <laughs> Thank you, Papi, for, for the flowers. The flowers. Oh, they were so mind. nice. They're so big. Like, who the fuck says? Don't you say they're beautiful? They're they're colorful. They smell good. The flowers are so big, Bobby. They're so big. Sorry, I left the room, but thank you, Tom Petty. Are you? Uh, how did? How? Why can't you make a Cardi B connection? You're both from the Bronx. That's true. You're both Latina. We both wear hoop earrings. What? What's going on here? There's a lot there. Whoop, whoop. It I seems mean, like you soon. could DM her, do something on the old social You're right. media. I think there. I'm gonna DM her. Um, Tell her to come I'll on the let show. You know, yeah, I'll let you know what she says. Tell her to appear on the East Side Dave show. We okay. will be very kind to her. We'll, Roy will play some fucking song and she'll rap. Yeah. And if she wants a back a backup uh, rapper, we got Andrea right here with that yeah. fucking uh, Archibald. With the okay. lyricist. Am I right about this? No, oh, Jim, you want to say something, pal? The champion wants to yeah, say I, something. I, I can rap in German. You you can rap in German. Yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah. Can you give us a sample? Oh, oh my. Okay, back up a little bit. There oh, you go. Shit. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. MFK, my friend can grüßen. Die wird nicht uns zu pushen, sehen wir stehen drauf. Wir gehen drauf, wir nehmen vor den Schaden drauf. Bevor wir fallen, fallen lieber auf. Ha ha. <laughs> yeah! Right, yeah, keep playing that beat for a little bit. Because I think I know someone else who can um, rap in German. <laughs> oh, shit. 
Jordan, watch your back. Hey, Jordan, gonna kick your ass. Hey, Jordan, what's all the stuff in? Hey, Jordan, that's you in the oven. I get kicking the soccer balls. Said kick Roy the soccer ball. I say scoring the goal in. I say scoring the goal in. They kick the Joe in the head like a soccer ball. Oh, very good, yeah. David. He can rap too. Yes. Um, well, that's incredible. Well, you know what, Roy? Yes, David. We've come to the end. Oh. Oh. Is it so, David? We have. No. And I'm not talking just about the show, but all of your lives. What? Johnny, do you have that lighter fluid? Yes, David. Make sure you get the lock. Yes. I already We're got gonna, the lock. We are going. Tonight, we're going to Waco, Texas. <laughs> Branch Davidians, I'm locking us all in here. We're going to burn ourselves alive. Okay, so you got it, John? Did you see yeah. it up there? All right, yeah, beautiful. Yeah. All right, so f if fire slowly comes up, don't let it distract you, but we okay. are going to die tonight. Trust me. And that's, that's a straight, that's uh, actually going to happen. But I want to live no, here. No, 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 sorry. To see anything. Sorry. Tonight. It's your last night on earth. How about a round of applause for you guys? You're all gonna be murdered tonight. I love you, my family. I cannot wait to kill all of you. All of you, each and every one of you. I don't know what's so funny about this. Robert, I feel like I'm doing you a solid, bro. This, I'm sparing you a four hour fucking trip back to Pennsylvania. So you probably want me to burn you alive, and I'm going to. Fuck. Bo, you're gonna die a virgin, dog. Sorry about that, broski. Wait, Mike is ass up, Jim. Mike is ass up. Also, my mom's gonna be a millionaire because you know what happens with people's albums and stuff when they die? <laughs> That's true. Their sales go up. Finally, Bo will sell some albums due to the so my mother is gonna be know, a millionaire and my mother and my David. sister right. will be a millionaire. Jimmy, you're gonna die in a diaper. So that's that's, sad. that's why I came on the show. <laughs> to die that's in a diaper. Die in the diaper, man. All right. <laughs> Damn, it's been a real fine day. Uh oh. Damn, it's been a real fine day. It's getting a little hot in here. Ain't got the blues, ain't got time for bad news. Damn, it's been a real fine day. Oh shit, we're all gonna die. Damn, it's been a real fine day. Sweat. From Long Island to West LA. Damn, it's been a real fine day There's a whole lot of trouble Out in this world Yeah, whole lot of worry Whole lot of worry Now that I had you Come into my life There's a whole lot of reason to say Damn, it's been a real fine day Anyone else out here? Yeah. Damn, it's been. A I think real I gotta take my shirt off. Shit. Uh oh. Cut on my new shoes. Ain't no way we're gonna lose. Cause damn, it's been a real fine day. I love you, Dave. Uh.